remember talking to someone, they're like, um, I want to start an agency. I'm like, but I feel like I have to go work for an agency first. I'm like, well, why? So I can learn the business. Okay. Don't, you don't think you can learn the business going to, you know, just starting? Yeah, I, I can, but, and they kept saying the but. I'm like, no, you just go do it. Yeah. You'll figure it out. I didn't even know what an invoice was. <laughs> I was like, if I could, like, and there's, and that's just one dumb story. I mean, right. there's just thousands of them out there of, you know, me not knowing something, but able to figure it out. And I'm not the smartest person by far. I'm probably one of the dumbest people, but I can be resourceful and I can see things a little bit different. And I don't care if I fail. I don't want to, you know, fail all the time. But when I do fail, I'm learning and then, I won't do it again. Well, and I, there, so if that's a really interesting point you bring up, and, I, and it's something that I'm trying to encourage uh, my team, at least our team, to, to embrace failure. Uh, because if we're afraid to fail, then we'll have a tendency not to jump. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we all need to jump so we can learn on our own and, and, and grow leaders. So uh, I think that's a really, really cool point. The, the one thing um, I wanted to ask, so what was a low point for you? Like, what was an experience where you, you know, when you were looking at that CMO job, what was going on in your day to day that made you think, man, this is tough? Well, I mean, just the, the point of caring what other people thought if I had to lay people off or if I started, you know, if I closed up doors and the, and then I just started thinking, well, if I just tried this new way, what's the worst that happens? Start another company, play again. Right. And I just started looking at it like the game of Monopoly. You can play as long as you have money or as long as someone's willing to lend you money. As long as you have access to money. And if you get out of the game, cool, you can start another game. Yeah. It's not like you have one shot. Everybody always thinks, you know, this company that you're doing is it. What people don't know is like, as we, I was building up, you know, the agency in the very early years, there was other businesses that I had the opportunity to do that no one would ever know. We had 1031 Exchange, which was this company that you would buy a, you know, you buy a house or flip it and that kind of stuff. Never worked. We created a, a social network called MyTone. It was actually before MySpace. Didn't work, right? Like, there are so many companies that we tried that never worked that no one ever knows, but that enabled me to play this game better because I had that experience. Yeah, that's cool. Everybody knows Babe Ruth for his home runs, not his strikeouts. Dude, the dude struck out 70% of the time. <laughs> yeah, and like, I think still holds a major league record for most strikeouts. 70% <laughs> of the time he fell. Like, we were at the Braves baseball game um, a little earlier and uh, with my sons, and they're like, oh, he's got a 314 average. That's good. I'm like, so what does that mean to you? I was like, that means 70% of the time that they strike out. Yeah. But they fail, but they keep getting up, and they're known as an all star. Yeah. And paid millions of dollars to fail 70% of the time. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> or amazing life lessons.